Well, hey everyone, welcome to where I give you the best of the best, all of the favorites from the previous month, my personal favorites that I hope you love as well, and I'm talking all things beauty, clothing, accessories, and lifestyle. Let's jump in. All right, let's start off with beauty. I'm just warning you, there are some pricey items. I will give you some alternatives when possible, but as always, I'm sharing with you what I'm really loving at the moment. So first, a little more budget friendly. I'm just warning you about what's to come. I have loved the IT Cosmetics CC Plus Cream for years and years and years, but I was looking for something a little more lightweight and a little more glowy, and I found this. Now this isn't new, but it's new to me, and it's the IT CC Plus Nude Glow SPF 40, and I wear it in the shade Fair. Now they have extended their shade range since the last time I bought the IT Cosmetics CC Plus, and there is a shade for everyone, but I am still in the shade Fair, which was what I was in in the original CC cream. I'm wearing it today. I think it photographs beautifully, but it's really lightweight on the skin, something I didn't feel the previous iteration was as good at, so I'm very excited about this. Probably going to be my go-to every day throughout spring and summer and into early fall. Now here comes the expensive part. It is from Sicily Paris. It is a brand I have talked about and raved about before. This is their eye concealer, and it comes in this little squeezy tube. I wear it in the shade one. It has a really nice cooling tip, and it does come with a tiny little sort of concealer brush that I don't really use. I do prefer to pat this in with my fingers. Usually I use a sponge on my concealer, so that's new to me. I'm not even gonna try to justify this or talk you into it. I'm just gonna tell you that I personally love it. I have friends that have been using it for years and have raved about it. And I will say, this seems to be magic in a tube. I think it is wasted on younger people for a variety of reasons, but I think it is especially good for older skin, for dry under eyes, for wrinkly, crepey under eyes. It's moisturizing, hydrating, but it doesn't crease. It sinks into the skin beautifully. What's really interesting is I can use it in a variety of places in my makeup routine, First off at the bat, you know, like when I put on my foundation, then I'll put on my concealer. But I've also noticed it really brightens if I wait until I've done my whole face and then at the last step I pat this in and then powder. And it can also be used to retouch. Another bonus, it lasts all day long and does not stop brightening. So I know it's got a hefty price tag, which is why my second favorite I've raved about before, much more budget friendly, not as lightweight, but beautiful coverage is the Tarte Cosmetics Creaseless Concealer. I wear it in the shade 13N, which is fair light neutral. And if you're just curious across the whole Tarte universe, my skin tone is always whatever the fair light neutral option is. This one I prefer to blend in with a damp beauty sponge. If you've got the budget, give this one a shot or go to your local Nordstrom, or if you live near Blue Mercury, just check this one out. Pretty good shade range, but number one was absolutely perfect for me. I have been trying to get a little more organized. It's something that happens when I hit a birthday. I use that more as my New Year's resolution and time to get things together than the actual first day of the year. So I was reorganizing my makeup drawers and I rediscovered this. This might be the perfect neutral palette. It's not new, it's from Tarte. It's their Tartlet in Bloom palette. I should say that I do have like an evergreen discount code across the Tarte website for 15% off. It's just Marnie15 at checkout. I believe that gives you free shipping as well. This palette has every neutral tone you would want. It has a true neutral row. It has more of a warm neutral row. This one is more cool toned. You can layer, mix match, whatever. I have it on today, a little lighter hand. You can do a really dramatic smoky eye. If you stay on the deeper side of the palette, there's just so many options. It's super travel friendly because of this huge mirror. I don't know why I've been sleeping on this one, but if you're looking for just the most user friendly blend of mattes, shimmers, and metallics in a neutral palette, this one is pretty outstanding. This was the month I really got back into using liquid eyeshadows, and there are two that I have sort of been going back and forth. There, it's not that there's anything that different about the formulas, I just have one in more of a cool tone and one in more of a warm tone, and it just depends what mood I'm in. So the first one is from Armani, and it's their eye tint, and I have it in the shade Cold Copper, although honestly there's nothing coppery about this, it's more of a 
taupey shade and it's just, it's so pretty all by itself. Both of these are really pretty just as a wash of color across the lid with a little bit of bronzer in the crease and that's been sort of my go-to look on the, I don't wanna say no makeup days, but on the lazy makeup days. And then if I'm feeling like a little more warm tone, I'm using the Chanel Longwear Liquid Eyeshadow and I believe this one is in the shade Rayon. So it's more of a champagne-y gold. And today I'm wearing it actually under everything I have on from Tartless Shade. I just put the light shimmer shade on top. But I have either worn it as a base and then piled eyeshadow on top or worn either shade as a wash across my eye and then taken any bronzer that I have with an eyeshadow fluffy brush, put that in the crease, mascara, and we're good. Liquid eyeshadows are just something I always have and I always just stick with a couple of neutrals. They're just really handy to have in your makeup collection. And then the last makeup favorite is the lip combo of the month. So I've already talked for a while about lip oils. I love lip oils. I've been trying a lot of dupes. I'm sorry to tell you that I have yet to find a drugstore version that comes anywhere close to the Dior or to my new favorite, the Clarins Comfort Lip Oil. Like I said, I have this one in the shade Pattaya and it's a gorgeous warm pink, but I have been wearing it over this little beauty. Isn't this cute? I love the packaging of this. This is from Pat McGrath. It's her satin lipstick and specifically it's the shade Divine Rose. I wanted something a little bit deeper, but still pretty neutral, pretty light. Here you go. It's so wearable. It's so easy to wear. It feels really nice on the lips and the gold bow, now, the different shades have different color cases, but they all come with this pretty gold bow and it just, that just put it right over the edge. Moving on to clothing favorites, I have to say that usually this section is chock full of things from Walmart, and I'm sure that will be the case next month. It's not the case this month, not because there isn't anything that I love from Walmart. In fact, I just placed a huge order. It's just that they haven't really released anything new during April that made it into favorites. So stay tuned for May, because I know there's some big launches coming from Scoop and Free Assembly, and they're starting to trickle in and show up on the website, hence the order I just placed. If you're curious about what's new, I'll put a link down in the description box to a post I just did about that. So stay tuned for Walmart items. They are coming in May. Quite a few Walmart videos I have planned up in here. But currently, let's talk about what my favorites were in April. So first, let's talk about this denim jacket. So I've had this for, I think I'm going on my second year, and I realize I never talk about it. So my first favorite denim jacket that I've shared with you was the Chico's jacket, and it's still one of my favorites. It's just they're not currently carrying it. The options that they currently have on their website are embellished, or their peplum, or their puff sleeves, and they're cute. But for me, I want a staple, basic, classic denim jacket that I can throw over anything spring, summer, fall. This one I actually found when I was at one of the LTK conferences. My friend Natasha from Nashville Tash has been loving hers for, I think she's had hers for five years. It's from the brand Able, and it is the softest, perfect denim jacket. I love how there's a million, not a million, but there are quite a few different washes to choose from. It's super soft, so you won't feel like you're restricted. You can actually get it over your clothes. It has pockets. A lot of the more fashionable ones don't have pockets. I don't understand that. It still has to be functional. And it does come in a really good size range. I have mine in a size small. This is one of those purchases you make once and you keep this in your closet forever. An absolute standout for the month is my Fiesta dress, is what I'm calling it. It's the Casey dress from Avara and I wore it to a Fiesta event and it could not have been more perfect. Now I realize most of you are not attending Fiesta and it's over basically at this point, but <laughs> this is a great summer dress for almost any more elevated occasion. This would absolutely work as a wedding guest dress, any kind of party that I can think of. It is so fun, it is so festive. It's also under $80 and it is machine washable, which I think is incredible. I absolutely love it. Moving on to jeans, because even though it is warming up, I still like to have my jeans options, especially in the evening when the temperatures drop a little bit and the winds pick up in the evening. I can pull out the jeans and I found a new fit that I am really excited about. They're from Maurice's. You already know how much I love Maurice's jeans. I love the different inseam lengths. I love the different washes and the size range is amazing. So I personally am more of a curvy fit. I have an hourglass figure, so I want it a little smaller at the waist and then more room in the hips and thighs and butt. But they just released a new one called their mid fit, mid rise. 
jean. I have it in the slim straight option. So it's similar in that it's not so narrow. It has a lot of overlap to the curvy, but there's just a little more room in the waist. And to be fair, they're a little big on me in the waist, but that just makes them extra comfortable. And so if you need to wear them like uh, on a long trip or something, these would be the jeans to go for. Or if you're built a little more straight up and down, I think you will love these. So I personally love the midfit. I think I got them in the mid rise, slim straight. So they had to make the favorites list for April because I wore them over and over and over again. And if you're following me on Instagram, they should look very, very familiar. Another clothing favorite is the Linen Blend colored tee, basically from Banana Republic Factory. I've been seeing versions of this all over the place in San Antonio. Everywhere I go, I see people wearing it. None of them are wearing theirs from Banana Republic Factory. They're paying the full price from Banana Republic or another retailer. So I'm super excited that I could not tell the difference in the quality between my factory version and their higher end version and mine is currently on sale for around $40. I have mine in the navy and in white in a size small. And then last favorites for clothing are these San Antonio Toile pajamas. Now, I know this is a higher price point, but I wanted to bring these up for a couple of reasons. One, I have literally been wearing them nonstop this entire month. I love them. But also because as we're moving into May and we're thinking about graduation and Mother's Day, I think these would make a beautiful gift, of course, for Mother's Day, but also for graduation. Now, the brand that they're from is famous for their city prints, their city twalls. So even if you're not from San Antonio, they do have quite a few other cities that you can choose from. So whether your graduate is moving to one of these cities or moving from one of these cities, I think it would be really cute to give this as a graduation gift, especially at this budget, at this price point. But there's also like notepads and phone cases and other things if you wanna spend quite a bit less than the pajamas, but I had to bring these up. They also had to be incredibly comfortable and really cool in the literal sense. I did not overheat or get warm at all when I sleep in these, which is kind of important at this stage of my life. Moving on to accessories. This is a favorite that I've never even shared on the channel yet. This is a straw tote bag. It's from Amazon, so you know it's very budget friendly. There's no strap, but it's easy to carry. You can also just stick it on your arm like this. But what I love about it is it is huge. It holds so much. So I've been taking this with me when I am going to work outside the house or like when I went to the hair salon, I could put my iPad, my notebooks, my calendars, all this stuff in here and tote it around. It also happens to have a zipper across the top, which I love because it can secure all of your contents. It is a personal peeve of mine, all these cute straw bags that are wide open to anyone just sticking their hand in your bag or you dumping all your stuff out on the floor by accident. So I love this. And of course, because it's from Amazon, there are a bunch of variations, but I personally love this one. I have two pairs of shoes to share because I couldn't narrow it down and I'll just go real quickly through them. The first one is this faux suede strappy wedge espadrille, true to size, lots of different color options with the straps, but super comfortable. And then the other ones, which came later in the month, are these same kind of concept, same style, but the straps are clear. So very good at elongating your legs and making your legs look thinner and adding some height with the, with the very tall wedge, but both are really comfortable and I would say get them in your true size. Then I have two pairs of earrings. Again, I wore them constantly and it's hard to narrow it down. The first and the ones I probably wore the most and honestly got the most questions about are these beaded hoops from Kendra Scott. These are a little bit different than your traditional hoop design. They're not round and of course they have this beautiful beaded texture on them and they go with everything. And then with all the pastels that we're wearing in spring, I just think these are so pretty. These are part of their L collection that they always have this shape in Kendra Scott, but this watercolor stone in the middle, it's so pretty and it goes with so many, I mean, it would go with this outfit and the lavender that I have on here. So, so pretty and perfect for spring. And then the last accessories favorite are my newest pair of, well, one of my newest pair of readers. I did a whole video on how to look better and technically younger, but mostly how to look better. And I talked about my new Peepers frames and one of them is this pair, which is my current favorite. I love these so much. I got them in two frames. I got these, which are readers in the Navy. And then I went with a traditional tortoise shell for just blue light blockers. So 
lots of options, and they all come with this cute case. And then onto lifestyle, which is the most random category. Number one, have to be these down alternative pillow inserts. I've been raving about these over on Stories. Again, they were a weekly favorite. I have been looking everywhere for designer quality, really luscious pillow inserts for all my different throw pillows. And I've been working my way through a bunch, but these are fantastic. You would never know that they are not down unless you looked at the price. And I believe they're the number one most recommended brand by interior designers and home stagers. So I went nuts and bought tons of them for all the throw pillows in our house. And I got some for my son, my younger son, as he's moving into his new apartment after college. So that was definitely number one for lifestyle. Number two have to be vases. I went a little nuts, got a lot of vases. I think the first one I ordered was this one. This is a dipped vase. It does come in various sizes and shapes and the link takes you to all of them. This is very reminiscent of the Serena and Lily vase, but it is not a Serena and Lily price. And this generally lives behind me over on my kitchen island. Then I picked up this one. This is a rattan vase and I put some faux tulips in here. These all happen to be from Amazon, and I just think this is perfect for spring and summertime. And then I just picked up this, which again, you should have just seen if you saw my last video with Mother's Day gifts. This is a stoneware vase, really pretty ombre color here, but it does come in quite a few other colors and solids, and this is going to live on my desk next to my computer. After years and years of having the same bedding with three dogs sleeping on it, it was finally time to say goodbye to it and I got a whole new quilt set and it's kind of come full circle because our very first bedding set when we got married was from Laura Ashley. And fast forward almost 26 years and it's another Laura Ashley set at far less expensive pricing than what I paid back in 1997, which is insane. I absolutely love this bedding set. It came with the quilt the pillow shams, that's it. And if you don't like the blue and white option, there are quite a few other ones. The gray is exquisite as well. The quilt is reversible if you want more of a darker background and it's huge and it comes in all the different sizes and I absolutely love it. And even my husband, when I put it on the bed, I was a little worried. He'd think it was a little too feminine. He goes, this looks really nice. So, it's so perfect. Exactly what I've been waiting for. Speaking of bedding, I saw this on the House of Sequins Instagram page and I knew I needed this. Like I said, we have three dogs that sleep with us and we have a little bit of a gap between the mattress and the headboard and our oldest Westie Mimi, who turns 14 in May, can you believe it? Her birthday is actually Cinco de Mayo. She loves to sleep on the pillows above my head and occasionally will fall through the pillows and get stuck in between the headboard and the mattress. It's actually, it's not funny, but it's a little funny. This solves that problem and kind of helps with the pillow placement in the bed. It's a bed wedge and it comes anywhere from California King and King down to twin. And it's just a little foam wedge with a little pillow cover over it that goes in between the headboard and the mattress and fills up that gap. So even if you don't have dogs that sleep on your head, it's great because you won't have your pillows slide down in there and it has a pocket on each end if you want to slide your phone in or your remote control for the TV or something like that. So it's a really nice little Amazon find and thank you to House of Sequence for recommending it because it has been perfect. And then lastly, this little gadget. So I kind of redid my desk setup. I got a new computer, monitor, all kinds of stuff. I'll share that over on Instagram once it's all put together. But I really wanted a new stand for my phone. I had one before, but it didn't charge and I wanted one that would charge and display it so that I could see it while I worked. So this is a magnetic charger that has a USB cord normally. And then you can also rest wireless headphones to charge on the base. And all you do is you take your phone, you gotta, you do have to take this part off and then it just bling. And you can, you know, move it around. You can rotate it if you wanna watch it landscape wise. It's fantastic. And apparently it's also telling me my new monitor stand just arrived, yay. Anyway, I love this so much. We got a second one, Michael saw it and he's like, I need it too. So it's just been really nice to have and sort of cleaned up all the wires that were running across my desk and made it easier to keep an eye on messages that are coming in on my phone while I am typing away on my computer. So that was a lot of favorites, a lot of really good finds this month, I think. I would love to hear from you. 
What were your favorites? I am planning, of course, as always, to recap what your favorites, your best sellers were coming up in a little bit into May. But for now, let me know down in the comments. I would love to hear from you. What were some of the standouts for you this month? Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope that you had fun and I will see you in the next one.